Good morning. Today is Thursday, September 26th, and this is Woodman AM. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now please remain standing for a moment of silence. Please be seated. Here are today's announcements. You're invited to our Folk and World Choir concert. Come enjoy rich musical cultures from all over the world. Join a diverse musical journey exploring the music of Brazil, Canada, England, Israel, the Philippines, and the United States. Bring some folks who love music and enjoy a trip around the world through song. The performance is free and is in the auditorium next Tuesday at 7 p.m. Boys Tennis improved to 11-9 with a 5-0 win over Luther in Indianapolis. Picking up wins for the Woodmen were Carter Chatham, Nick Pruitt, and one doubles pairing Keegan Lane and Isaac Apgar, and two doubles pairing Seth McCauley and Aiden Walton. With the win, Coach Rung achieved the milestone of reaching 100 career wins coaching boys tennis. Congratulations, Coach. Next up is Senior Night today versus Shelbyville. Please come out and support these great seniors. Bring Change to Mind will meet today during Power Hour 1 in room C225. Please join them for snacks, activities, and conversation. See Annabelle Salwin, Valeria Moreno, or Ellie Guy for more information. Seniors, congratulations. You are in your last year of high school. How does it feel? In just a few months, you will walk at graduation and get your diploma. It's an amazing feat. Please keep your mind focused on the end goal, remembering you must maintain those passing grades and keep your graduation requirements on track. If you need to visit a college or career location, please come to the guidance office and pick up a form before you go. Be sure to read any announcements that are posted as we hold field trips, college visits, military visits, 21st century scholar meetings, scholarship opportunities, and so much more. Many of our Woodman Fall Athletic teams have their last regular season home events this week. Your Student Athletic Advisory Council is hosting their Fans of the Game event at three of these. GHS students get in free as always with your ID or Power School, and you will also get an entry into the drawing for two Fans of the Game winners at each event. Those whose names are drawn will get the VIP seating with the student section and a full meal including a sub, chip, cookie, and a drink from Cousin Sub delivered to your VIP seat as well. Please support your women athletics at these events. Enjoy, enjoy volleyball tonight. JV starts at 5.30 p.m. and the drawing will take place at the start of the varsity match around 7 p.m. There will be a World Culture Club call-out meeting tomorrow during Power Hour 1 in room C219. The group is excited to explore new cultures, build new friendships, and eat foods from various cultures. All are welcome to join. See Miss Jen or Miss Koontz if you cannot attend. The Gardening Club will meet today in Mr. Figgy's room during both power hours. The dance team is gearing up for an amazing 2024-2025 season and they want you to be a part of it. See Mrs. Cinnamon for more details in a tryout packet. Tryouts are tomorrow from 4 to 6.30 p.m. in room F100. All skill levels are welcome. Tonight, the volleyball team will have its fight night awareness game against Columbus North High School. This Cancer and Health Awareness Night is intended to bring the community together on one night to recognize that everyone is fighting something, but no one fights alone. Fans and attendees are asked to wear the color representing their own fight, a family member's fight, or the fight of a close friend or colleague. They will also be giving out bracelets in pink, black, and green to commemorate the evening at the game. The JV match will begin at 5.30 p.m., followed by the varsity match. Lady Legacy wants to invite you for snacks and a discussion about anxiety. If you've never attended, the group would love to see you today during Pow Hour 2. All ladies are welcome. Tomorrow night, the Woodman face Perry Meridian. We bet you don't know what goes on behind the scenes with the Woodman Touchdown Club. Here is Woodman AM with more information. Many people enjoy going to the Friday night football games, but do not realize what goes on behind the scenes in order for these games to happen. The Woodman Touchdown Club is a prime example of helping the team on and off the field by providing many necessities. Here is the president of the Woodman Touchdown Club, Jay Arnold, with more information. 
Hello everybody, I'm Jay Arnold. I'm the president of the Woodman Touchdown Club. Our primary focus on the Woodman Touchdown Club is to raise funds to support Greenwood Middle School and High School football throughout the season to uh, support their, to give them things such as Gatorade, water, uh, jerseys, apples, oranges, things like that, just to help them get, be successful throughout the season. The Woodman Touchdown Club also donated the Wheeling Water System to the team. The Wheel and Water Hydration System is designed to provide a mobile and easily accessible source of water for these athletes. It allows the team to stay properly hydrated without interrupting their practice and it can even hold a significant amount of water. The players love having this addition to the team and it's not used only at games but practices as well. Another behind the scenes piece for the football team is the drone footage obtained throughout both practices and games. Mitchell Houseman gets the drone footage so that the players and coaches can look at it to make adjustments. This helps the players dissect the practices and realize what they did well and what they can improve on. Uh, Mitchell Houseman here. Um, we operate the Greenwood off off of of football team. We do this to try to help uh, uh, the uh, players better the prepare tackle. against the teams we're going to play. So we can go over practice footage, game footage, and just give them Fourth all the tools they can to uh, prepare to win. The football team also has many sponsors that help with other necessities that the team may need throughout the season. You can see all of the sponsors on Friday nights lined up along the field. Thank you. Service Club meets today during Power 2 in LGI 1. This should be a great meeting with the community service dog, toy craft on the agenda, as well as so much more. Join Service Club today if you've never attended a meeting before. That concludes today's announcements. I'm Josh. And I'm Mason. Have a great day.